So introducing the all-new Galaxy Ultrasonic Probe Sonicator, a smart, space-saving solution. This advanced device integrates an intuitive control panel and a soundproof chamber into a single compact unit. It's designed to maximize efficiency while preserving valuable lab space, ensuring that your sonication tasks are both effective and quiet. The Pro 650 includes the main unit, probe with transducer, power cord, and an inbuilt temperature sensor. Start by placing the main unit on a flat surface, ensuring stability for optimal performance. Next, gently place the transducer with the probe into the center hole of the main unit. Ensure there's a stable power supply by plugging the power cord into the designated socket of the instrument. Align the pins on the transducer cable with the corresponding socket, carefully plug it in and tighten the ring for a secure connection. Now switch on the power button and watch as the screen illuminates. Upon startup, you'll see the program and probe selection menu. You can save up to 100 programs in the program selection menu. In the probe selection menu, use the arrow keys to select a probe size. 6 mm, 8 mm, 10 mm, 12 mm, 2 mm or 3 mm. Once selected, save the parameters by clicking the save and exit option. In the main menu, you'll see the program number, the selected probe, real-time frequency, sample temperature and shutdown temperature displayed. To set the shutdown temperature, click on the number and input your desired value. When the sample reaches this threshold, sonication will stop and an alarm will sound, ensuring safety and precision. To set the process time, tap the process time label. A keyboard will appear. Enter the desired hours, minutes and seconds. You can set the process time up to 99 hours, 59 minutes and 59 seconds. Next, adjust the pulse on and pulse off times. The maximum value for both is 99 seconds. If you are running for an extended period, set the pulse off time to be double that of the pulse on time. To adjust the amplitude percentage, tap the number and set the value according to the attached probe. You can also use the arrow buttons to fine tune your settings. Open the door and use the platform down key to lower the platform. Place your sample on the platform, then use the platform up key to lift it. Adjust the platform so that the probe tip is submerged 1 to 2 centimeters into the sample. Turn on the light inside the chamber to clearly see the solution. To start the sonication process, tap the start symbol. The process will begin and the start button will turn orange, indicating that sonication is active. To pause the sonication process, click on the pause option. For manual operation, set the out time to a higher interval. By pressing the continuous key, the process will run based on your preferred settings and will stop when you release the key. Now, let's learn how to change the probe. Start by placing a soft cloth beneath the transducer to protect it. Take the larger tool and align its teeth with the holes on the transducer. Hold it firmly in place. Next, use the smaller tool, aligning its teeth with the holes on the probe. Gently push to loosen the probe, then rotate it counterclockwise to remove it. To attach a new probe, start by rotating it clockwise to secure it loosely. Once attached, use the larger tool to hold the transducer firmly. Then use the spanner part of the smaller tool to tighten the probe securely. Thank you for watching. For more information and to explore our product range, please visit our YouTube channel.